Butter chicken needs no introduction. I'm sure you must have eaten and relished butter chicken. Today you will watch me prepare butter chicken using the traditional authentic recipe. We have two sets of ingredients here, one for the marinade and one for the sauce. Let's move on to the marinade uh, ingredients. You require one kg of boneless, skinless chicken breasts, 600 grams of unsweetened natural yogurt, two tablespoons of crushed garlic, two tablespoons of crushed ginger, two tablespoons of roasted garam masala, two teaspoons of ground roasted cumin powder, two teaspoons of chaat masala, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon chili powder, and one teaspoon of tandoori kala, followed by four tablespoons of lemon juice and one tablespoon of canola oil to give the butter chicken a nice glaze. On to the sauce ingredients. 200 grams of butter, one tablespoon of kasuri methi, one tablespoon of crushed ginger, one tablespoon of crushed garlic, two tablespoons of raw sugar, one teaspoon of chili powder, salt to taste, 300 ml of fresh cream, 400 ml of water, and 415 grams of canned tomato puree. Today, I have decided to cube my chicken breasts. You can, by all means, have the whole chicken breasts, slip them, marinate them into your uh, yogurt mixture, and then bake it. After baking, make them into cubes. So let's move on to our marination process now. Let's put in all these ingredients into the natural yogurt. That's the ginger and the garlic. In goes the cumin powder followed by the chaat masala, salt of course, and the magic powder, tandoori curry, color powder and the chili powder. And give this yogurt a real good mix. And you can see how beautiful and rich the color is. And the smell is just unbelievable. Then I'm going to dip my cubed chicken pieces into the marination ready for baking. So in goes those pieces there. Give it a good mix and before you put them into the oven to bake remember to leave your marinated chicken pieces in the fridge overnight for marination a real good soaking and so before you proceed to put this in the fridge for overnight marination remember to add in your lemon juice and the oil to give it a beautiful glaze. Mix it well. And it's ready to go in the fridge now. So your marinated chicken is out from the fridge now, beautifully marinated, and it's ready to be baked, remember? Bake it at 180 degrees centigrade for 15 to 20 minutes. Let's get our grilling tray and scoop the chicken pieces onto the tray. We're ready to return it to the oven. Here we go. Lovely, juicy, succulent chicken pieces, beautifully marinated in authentic traditional spices, getting ready for your butter chicken. Here we go. And now it's ready to go into the oven.
Okay, now that the chicken is baked, let's proceed to make the butter chicken sauce. First and foremost goes in the butter, followed by the rest of the ingredients. Salt to taste. powder and the main ingredient of butter chicken is kasuri methi and of course butter in goes the puree then the cream and last of all water Okay, give it a good stir and bring the sauce to boil for 5 minutes and then simmer the sauce for another couple of minutes on low heat. When the sauce is almost ready, we will be ready to add the chicken pieces. You can see that the butter chicken sauce is ready now. The oil globules are on the surface and in goes the cooked chicken cubes. Give it a stir and further cook for one or two minutes only and your butter chicken is ready. So our butter chicken is ready now. Let's garnish it with fresh chopped coriander leaves followed by almond flakes. Here we go. And mmm, it smells delicious. Beautiful aromatic smell oozing out. Enjoy your butter chicken. Dip chicken into marinade mixture, refrigerate overnight. Lift chicken pieces out of marinade and bake in preheated oven at 180 degrees centigrade for 15 to 20 minutes until cooked and tender. Melt butter in a deep pan and add sauce ingredients. Bring sauce to boil and simmer on low heat for 5 minutes. Add in cubed chicken pieces and continue cooking until sauce thickens and oil globules appear on the surface. Serve garnished with hot steamed rice, jira palau or Indian bread.